I'm Ricky. And I'm Kira, and we're going to show you our Belfast. I genuinely think Belfast has something for everybody, and I really think that you're going to have a good time when you come here. Now we're going to head to St George's Market to sample some of Belfast's best food. It's a real tradition of stall holders. You know, there's some people who've been here for years and years and years. And especially since Belfast has taken off, there's a lot more choice available now. And I love it. It's one of my favorite places. The good thing about uh, St George's Market is the samples. If you're a bit broke, this is the place to come. Yeah, they're really generous with their samples, so you can have whatever you want, free lunch, it's great. So we're about to just walk into Bookfinders, which is a great little cafe right beside Queen's. Cross road from my office. Yep, and it's a real, real quirky little place. Yeah, it's a bit of an institution. So this is the front of the shop here, so you can see it's a crazy little bookshop and uh, I think some of these books have been here for years. It's a real cave of uh, Irish literature, you don't never know what you're going to find. Got a great collection. And you find that like university lecturers when they retire will bring boxes and boxes of books here. A lot of the time you, if you're here reading a book you start eavesdropping on conversations and people are you know planning to change the world and start revolutions and it's a really it's quite a fun place. Belfast is surprisingly compact and that you can get everywhere by foot. Right in the core of Belfast, still have these pubs like Biddles in the kitchen bar. You can get cheeky lunchtime pint and an excellent lunch for quite reasonable prices. Yeah, this is the red brick that the whole of Belfast was built on in the in period of industrialisation. We have right here the Victoria Square Shopping Centre, which just opened last February. And I think whenever it opened, everyone was like, where did that come from? Because yeah. it's just this... Um, Sprung out amongst all the old buildings. Yeah, and it's, they really worked well with the architecture that's already here. But it's got this amazing dome. This has really become a new icon for the new Belfast, if you like. And it's really, it's really open and airy, and it makes the shopping experience quite, quite refreshing in a way. Yeah, it's not really oppressive. You aren't sort of, there's not overbearing music or lights. Mm -hmm can walk through and still kind of feel like you're outside. Yeah, and sometimes they actually put bands on in the very top of the dome, which is a really nice idea as well. Yeah, you can go up and look over the whole of Belfast. This is the Albert clock. They uh, call this the Belfast Leaning Tower of Pisa because it's, uh, it's slightly off kilter, off the off balance. We're going to take you now to the Waterfront Hall down by the Lagan. Uh, you, there you can see the docks, which was essential in the making of Belfast. So this is a new piece of public art in Belfast ahead of us. I can't actually remember the actual name of this piece. Your woman with the hoop. What? Your woman with the Your hoop. Your woman with the hoop. I think some people call it Nula with the hula. This is called the fish or something. The and it fish. was the big fish, and this is by an artist called John Kindness, who's from Belfast. Um, I really like it. <laughs> I think it's great. This is my friend Tom Hughes, just ran into him. Um, Tom's in a band called The Lowly Knights. Why don't you tell us about the band, Tom? Um, we're a 12 piece, uh, huge acoustic bonanza. One of the best things about the Belfast music scene as well is that it's really DIY. Um, people are just making albums, recording, setting up their own nights, setting up their own gigs. We're going to go up to the Spring and Air Brick, um, where Ricky is playing tonight.
is my Belfast. This is um, the Belfast I love. Um, you can have the city and the madness and the busyness of the city, and the food, the art, the bands, the music. And then you can just come by five minutes up the road and you're in peaceful surroundings. I think a lot of people don't really associate Belfast with pretty beaches. Um, but it's here and it's just a really cool place to come on a Sunday morning, just to relax. Ooh. I think Belfast's a big surprise a lot of people. I really think that you're gonna have a good time when you come here.